Due to a sudden car accident, Xia Qinyan unexpectedly traveled to a strange world. This is a world called Dating Battle, where there is a disaster called Space Shock, a culprit named Elves, and two organizations called Latitask and DM Society, that seal spiritual power or completely eliminate elves in order to prevent space shock space shock took away the father's love and mother's love that Xia Qinyan finally felt again. She secretly swore to herself that she would make that elf pay for his blood debt. If nothing can be changed, then I will break its original rules. Chapter 1 Car Accidents You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the warm summer, there are strings of water droplets hanging on the trees on both sides of the street, and there are also several green plants swaying in the flower beds on the roadside. The sunshine falls on the body, making people feel very comfortable and comfortable. Xia Qinyan sat in the seat at the bus stop, waiting for the bus to arrive. After checking the time, it was almost 7 o'clock and the bus had not arrived yet. Because this number 62 bus is the only bus she must pass through on her way home, Xia Qinyan also has patience to wait. She took out her phone and called her aunt. Auntie can be said to be her only relative. Xia Qinyan has never seen her parents before. According to Auntie, she passed away due to an accident when she was a child. Yen Yen. Where are you now? Why haven't you gone home yet? Listening to the gentle voice of her aunt, Xia Qinyan felt very warm in her heart. Her aunt always cared for her so much. She felt that although her parents were gone, she still had a loving aunt in her life. Auntie, I'm waiting for the bus. I'll be back soon. Well, Auntie is waiting for you. Hmm. After hanging up the phone, Xia Qinyan continued to sit at the bus stop and wait. Now she has just finished her first year of high school, and tomorrow will be summer vacation. She should plan well and help her aunt share some of the life pressure. Auntie has never been married, and Xia Qinyan can be said to have been raised by her alone. It has been false that she has not worked hard for so many years. Therefore, Xia Qinyan is very grateful to this aunt, and even changed her surname to be the same as Auntie. The girl was planning her summer job in her mind, with a smile on her face. Shortly thereafter, the bus arrived with unpleasant noises. Xia Qinyan got up and walked into the carriage. As the crowd surged, the bus moved forward. There aren't many people on the bus and the seats are not fully booked, but because it's summer, even with air conditioning, you can still feel a bit stuffy. Xia Qinyan sat at the back, she liked quietness very much, no matter where she was, and her classmates at school were not very good, but she was not affected by it. The girl lowered her head and glanced at her watch. It was already around eight o'clock. The girl looked out the window at the tall buildings flashing by, her thoughts drifting away. Suddenly, the driver in front seemed to have something wrong. I saw the driver constantly pulling the handbrake, twisting the steering wheel, looking extremely nervous, murmuring something. Upon seeing this, Xia Qinyan immediately sounded an alarm in her heart. The elevated bridge is ahead, and if there is any accident, it may thinking of this, Xia Qinyan immediately stretched out his hands, tightly grasping the armrest in the front row, while poking his head out to look at the situation ahead. The driver's forehead was covered in sweat, and his fingers were constantly trembling, as if something had happened. The driver's expression became increasingly fearful. Other passengers also noticed the driver's abnormality. Master, what's wrong? This sound carries the doubts of all passengers. However, the answer obtained puts people at a bottom. The steering wheel and brakes are malfunctioning. What? The steering wheel is malfunctioning. How could it be? What should we do? The passengers all panicked. Xia Qinyan was even more at a loss. Her hand couldn't help but grip, wanting to jump off the bus. However, by this time, the speed of the bus had reached its limit, and she could not make any action. How could it be like this on the other hand, Xia Qinyan's aunt Xia Yuan is happily preparing breakfast. 
Breakfast was very sumptuous because her 16-year-old girl Xia Qinyan had gone on summer vacation and came back this morning. Pulling the child up, Xia Qinyan was like her own daughter. Since Xia Qinyan started high school, I have been able to see her every weekend. Xia Yuan was cooking while humming a song, feeling extremely happy but it has been another hour since breakfast was ready, and Xia Qinyan still hasn't returned. According to reason, he should have returned long ago. During this period, she also made several phone calls, all of which were unanswered. Xia Yuan's mood went from happy to uneasy. Just as she was about to make another phone call, the news that popped up above her phone gave her a hard blow. Number 62 Bus in City A At 8.55 a.m., the number 62 bus broke through the fence and fell off a cliff at the intersection of the viaduct. The passengers on board were being rescued. According to investigation, the accident was caused by damage to bus parts. The appearance of this news instantly plunged Xia Yuan's heart to the bottom, and her hands began to tremble uncontrollably. Yen Yen, my Yen Yen. Xia Yuan's heart couldn't help but tingle. She could already imagine Xia Qin Yen sitting in the car watching her fall from the cliff with fear and helplessness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what crime did this child commit? How should you treat her? Xia Yuan was crying and shouting while taking things to rush to a central hospital. Yen Yen, you must not have anything to do. At the entrance of the ward of the city center hospital. Xia Yuan looked at the group of doctors standing outside the ward and felt very scared. She was afraid of seeing Xia Qinyan's scarred appearance, and even more afraid of losing her. At this moment, the door of the ward slowly opened and a male doctor wearing a white coat walked out. Excuse me, is this Ms. Xia Yuan? Are you a family member of the injured person? Yes, I am. Xia Yuan quickly wiped away her tears. The male doctor nodded and gestured for her to enter with him, his expression appearing solemn. Xia Yuan saw Xia Qinyan wrapped in many bandages on the hospital bed, and her tears couldn't stop flowing, causing a burst of pain in her heart. The injured person's head injury is very serious, and the chance of waking up is only 3%. You need to be mentally prepared. Upon hearing the male doctor's words, Xia Yuan's eyes turned red again and she almost fainted, but she gritted her teeth and held on. I, I get it, thank you. Xia Yuan forced a smile on her face. The male doctor shook his head. Then he turned around and left. Only Xia Yuan and Xia Qinyan remain in the ward. Xia Yuan sat on a chair next to the hospital bed, holding the delicate hand of the young girl. This hand was originally so beautiful, but now it is wrapped in bandages. Yen Yen, Auntie is here. Open your eyes and take a look at Auntie. Xia Yuan choked up as she spoke. You must have fallen asleep, right? Yes, you're tired of studying, aren't you? Just take a nap and it'll be fine. Xia Yuan's call did not respond, so she stayed up until late at night. During this period, she didn't eat anything, just stared blankly at the peaceful and sleeping girl on the hospital bed. She really wants to hear the child sweetly call her auntie again. Unfortunately, we may never be able to fulfill our wishes again. Xia Yuan's heavy head rested on the edge of the hospital bed. This woman's originally long black hair has begun to visibly turn white. Chapter 2 Crossing you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The chirping of birds in the forest is like a beautiful melody, announcing the arrival of morning. The undiminished water vapor in the air condenses into dewdrops on the soft green leaves under the white light of fish bellies rising in the sky. There seemed to be a sound of footsteps coming from my ear, and I could vaguely hear their conversation. Based on preliminary judgment, it seemed to be a married couple. This child has been weak and sickly since childhood, and he had such a high fever last night. Don't worry, my heart, Yen Yen will definitely be fine. Don't be stunned, hurry up and give Yen Yen the medicine to drink. Ah, oh, oh, okay. I had a vague feeling of my head being lifted up, 
and then my lips touched something, like dry land moistened by rain. My mouth was sweet, and I felt so light and comfortable. Yen Yen, hurry up and get better. Husband, what should I do if I don't wake up this time? The man gently put his head back and comforted the woman. Yen Yen is a strong girl who won't leave us behind. Don't cry, Ong. When I heard my footsteps gradually moving away and the door closed with a click. The girl just opened her eyes and slowly stood up, propping up her weak body. Pinching the blanket with both hands, looking around. This unfamiliar environment stunned the girl, and her instinctive body made her instinctively call out that reassuring title. Auntie. But in the room full of girlish hearts, there was no familiar figure that made her feel familiar. Where is this? Xia Qinyan looked around in confusion, warm sunlight shining through the window on the girl's face. This is not a hospital, not her own room. She tried hard to recall and remembered the incident of the car accident. By the way, I got into a car accident. Dead. No, I'm not dead yet. The girl pinched the flesh on her arm, and a wave of pain swept through her body. This is something she didn't expect, how could a gentle squeeze hurt so much? She recalled what the woman had just said, this child has been weak and sickly since childhood. Hmm it seems true. But it could also be the aftermath of a car accident. How long have you been unconscious? Why wake up in an unfamiliar environment? Anyway, the top priority is to find the ant. Once you find her, you can ask her what happened after the car accident. Xia Qinyan tried to get out of bed, but as soon as she moved, she felt a severe pain in her bones, causing her to frown and fall down. But she still endured the pain and got up again from the bed. After countless hardships, I finally got off the bed. But that little gesture made her gasp for breath. Xia Qinyan covered her chest and panted. Her face was pale, but she still stubbornly refused to give up, limping and supporting the wall to the door. When passing by the mirror, she stopped. What? The girl looked at her reflection in the mirror in shock, as if she was stinky and beautiful, and cursed profusely. Sleeping slot. Who are you, beautiful woman? Xia Qinyan has never seen such a beautiful girl before. In the mirror, I have dark waist-length hair, delicate facial features, fair skin, especially those eyes that are as clear and pure as autumn water. Unfortunately, my physical condition seems to be not very good. Xia Qinyan waved his hand, and the person in the mirror also waved. The girl finally confirmed that it was herself. If I look like this, wouldn't it be? The girl still couldn't believe that one day her experiences would unfold like the novels and comics she read. Did I travel through time? So, isn't it that I can't see my aunt anymore? Xia Qinyan looked back at this room full of girlish heart with a low mood. Looking at the pink rabbit bed, taking into account the conversation she heard, she couldn't help but sigh. The original owner didn't make it through. But, which novel's world is this? The original protagonist is called Yen Yen, just like in my previous life. Will the name be the same? Are those the original protagonist's parents just now? Xia Qinyan looked at the door with an impulse to open it. Her slender hand rested on the doorknob. Rotate vigorously. Click. The door has opened. The girl poked her head out and looked out. The corridor is very quiet and there is no one. Seeing the handrail of the stairs, Xia Qinyan realized that it should be upstairs. The opposite door and the adjacent door are all locked, so there should be no one around. Xia Qinyan supported the wall and walked slowly barefoot to the handrail of the stairs. The sound of conversation in the living room downstairs gradually became audible. Isn't your work important? Nothing is as important as my daughter. Xia Qinyan lay on the handrail of the stairs, listening to the conversation between husband and wife. The parents of the original owner loved them very much. Xia Qinyan's eyes dimmed. She had never felt the love of a father and a mother, which inevitably made her jealous. 
However, the thought of having a loving aunt made her feel relieved, although she may never see her again. Dot. She also wondered something, according to novels and comics, doesn't time travel usually inherit the memories of the original owner? How could it be difficult to get to her place? Dad, Mom. She had no choice but to shout and wait for their response. After a brief silence, she heard hurried footsteps, step by step, Yen Yen, you're awake. Yen Yen, why did you come out? Hurry up, go back and lie down. The two happily assisted Xia Qin Yen back to bed and sat down. Is Yen Yen hungry? Mom will cook kanji for you. Yen Yen, is there any pain in your body? Tell Dad. Their concern made Xia Qin Yen feel a bit at a loss for a moment. It's okay, I'm okay. Xia Qin Yen shook her head and then spoke cautiously. That. The girl's gaze turned towards the couple in front of her. What is my name? Xia Qingyan's inquiry plunged the couple into silence. The two exchanged a glance and then turned their gaze back to Xia Qingyan. After realizing that the girl was not lying. They're panicking. Yen Yen. Your name is Xia Qingyan, aren't you experiencing amnesia? I'm dad, Xia Chongkong. Yen Yen, mother Lin Jixin, don't forget your mother. Xia Qingyan. It's the same name as her previous life. If you don't have the memory of the original owner, then follow their words and consider it as true amnesia. Xia Qingyan's weak face was filled with apologies. I'm sorry, when I woke up, all I knew was that you were my parents. I didn't remember anything else. Xia Chongkong sighed. It's good to still remember my parents, but it's also good to forget that thing if you have amnesia. Xia Chongkong touched Xia Qingyan's head and smiled kindly. Lin Jixin was wiping tears on the side. Xia Qingyan tries her best to listen attentively to every word, which is the only channel for her to understand the world now. So, what happened? What would be the things that the original parents hoped the original owner would forget? Chapter 3 Searching You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xia Qinyan lived in this unfamiliar world for a few days. Although her body was so weak that her parents did not allow her to go out, it did not diminish the girl's urgent desire to understand this world. She has been flipping through all the books at home, big and small. Due to health reasons, she has never been to her father's study a few times since childhood. Now, no one can stop her and insists on reading. When parents saw their daughter like this, they bought a bed and blanket in the study for her to rest, so as not to accidentally harm her body while running back and forth between the study and the room. To be honest, if it weren't for knowing that their daughter had lost her memory, they would all suspect that their daughter had changed her personality. Of course, in fact, it is also so Xia Qingyan lay in bed, with neatly arranged books next to him, all of which more or less recorded the history of this world. She now urgently wants to know which world she has traveled to, because as long as she knows which world it is, she can recall the following and subsequent plot with her memory from her past life, master the script, and even with such a weak body, she should be able to maintain her current life. Of course, she has also gained some insights from flipping through these books these past few days. For example, there is a special term called, spatial earthquake. Browsing through various parts of these books, one carries the word to some extent. The introduction in the book is very detailed, and there are also many pictures after the occurrence of spatial earthquakes. Space earthquake is a disaster. The first space earthquake 28 years ago struck the Eurasian continent, causing nearly 150 million deaths and injuries, known as the Eurasian space disaster. This phenomenon has occurred frequently around the world since then. And in the sixth month after that, as if the Nanguan East disaster had subsided, there were no more space earthquakes. It wasn't until three years ago, a space earthquake triggered a major fire in the experimental city of Nanjia Town, Tiangong City, which was established in the old disaster area. The space earthquake returned to people's sight. However, for spatial earthquakes, 
the experimental city of Tiangong City has shown good resistance and feasibility. The pictures in the book, various buildings that have been turned into ruins, and the flattened mountains all remind people of the terrifying consequences of spatial earthquakes. It's impossible for humans to survive such a great disaster, right? Xia Qingyan's heart pounded as she silently closed the book, glanced at the printing time of the book, and then at the calendar hanging on the wall of the study room. Well, it was just printed this year, hee hee, Tiangong City. Xia Qingyan smiled calmly on the surface, but her heart was already in a state of panic. She looked at her father's stacked Tiangong daily on the desk and gritted her teeth, accepting her life. So the disaster is right in front of me. Driven by curiosity, Xia Qingyan brought his father's newspaper over and opened it to take a look. The thick ink font catches the eye. That's the newspaper from ten months ago, Tiangong Daily. On February 10, 2028, Tiangong Central Hospital officially announced today that the research on experimental drugs for human frailty antibodies has been successful. This is undoubtedly another historic breakthrough for the Central Hospital after five years. Um. Is the technology in Tiangong City so high? No wonder there are frequent space tremors, and people here still live happily. Xia Qingyan lay in bed, closing her eyes and recuperating, sorting out the information she had received. She once found the diary of the original owner, and although it is not a law about abiding in good citizen style of the 21st century to check someone else's diary without permission, she can no longer care so much. For her, there are very few channels to understand the world, and she will not miss any chance. But in the end, she still couldn't find any useful information. The diary recorded some trivial life matters of the original owner, and she felt the warmth and harmony of the original owner's family from it. Is this the love she has never experienced? The original owner moved to Tiangong City five years ago because of the experimental medicine in Tiangong Central Hospital. Dot. I don't know why her eyes suddenly felt hot and moist. If it weren't for this body, would this family be even happier? Knocking, words. A gentle knock came from outside the door, and Lin Jixin's voice could be heard. The door was not closed, but as a mother, she still knew she needed to knock on it. Xia Qingyan quickly wiped away the tears from her eyes, sat up straight, took a few deep breaths, calmed her emotions before speaking. Mom, what's up? Yen Yen, it's time to take the medicine. Xia Qingyan stood up and said. Okay, come on in. Lin Jixin pushed the door open and walked in, seeing Xia Qingyan sitting on the bed. She handed Xia Qingyan the prepared soup and medicine and said. Yen Yen, your complexion is getting better and better. I believe you will be able to regulate your body soon. Lin Ji's heart and face were full of smiles. In the past few days, she could clearly see that her daughter's spirit was getting better and better, and all her efforts had finally improved. Mom, when can my father allow me to go out? Xia Qingyan, who was drinking medicinal soup, asked, feeling the sweetness in his mouth. Is this medicine still quite delicious? Upon hearing this, Lin Ji's heart turned pale. Um. I'll help you ask when your father comes back tonight. She actually doesn't want her daughter to go out either. A few days ago, she took her out for a walk and people who came back started to have a high fever, which scared the couple. But Xia Qingyan has his own ideas. If you don't go out, there is no clue at all. Based solely on the spatial shock, those in Tiangong City have no idea what kind of world this is. She has read novels and comics herself, but she has never seen these things before so. Then please ask my gentle and beautiful mother. Xia Qingyan blinked and looked at Lin Jixin with a smile. He he he, silly children can make people happy. Lin Jixin smiled and cursed, then turned around and left holding the bowl. Actually, Xia Qingyan is right. Her mother is indeed very beautiful, and the original owner has inherited her good genes. The girl lay back in bed and extended her hand towards the ceiling. The efficacy is indeed good, 
but I don't know when it will fully recover. She recalled her past life, although her body was weak, it was not as bad as it is now, even walking a few steps was not enough. But life has been much better than then. At present, it's not very bad, is it? But, ah, forget it, no matter what, since we've traveled, we must cherish it well. Xia Qingyan sighed and buried her head in the pillow. Hmm, take a nap. The sunlight shone on the window and finally landed on Xia Qingyan. Chapter 4 Improvement You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Kwa Trin Lay Text Chapter 5 Going Out You are listening at NovelFull.audio Even in the late winter, the morning light is still very late, and only around 7.30 a.m. can a faint golden line be seen on the horizon. This lazy sun, along with its companions, is finally willing to release its dazzling light, bringing light to this silent world in the dark. The fog this morning was a bit heavy and hazy, combined with the snow that had not yet melted, making it even more difficult to see the distant path. Xia Qinyan stared blankly out the window. How many days has it been since she came to the world? It has been about ten days. Today, I can finally go out and take a look, after all, she is not the original owner. In her past life, Xia Qinyan, who was accustomed to freedom, was quite resistant to this kind of life like a canary in a golden cage. Of course, this is a prerequisite for good physical health. She can be said to have not slept for half a night. After forcing herself to sleep last night, only an hour passed and she completely lost her drowsiness. She couldn't sleep and was alone in bed, daydreaming. Finally, his gaze fell on the stars outside the window, and so on the silence of the night was broken by the voice of the girl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One hundred. Ninety point nine. How could there be so many stars in a night sky as big as half a window? It's just a girl, counting and not knowing where she has reached, but unwilling to start counting again and slowly accumulating. After a long wait, she finally managed to get through the early hours of the morning. The rising sun in the sky is like a girl's silent mockery of the night. Knocking and knocking the knocking on the door that Xia Qinyan was looking forward to rang out on time as usual. Just like the way we interact with the original owner these days. The girl repeated this sentence without any annoyance. Mom, the door is not locked. With these words, the woman outside the door also opened the door with a bowl of hot kanji. Of course, there is also a rebuke that Xia Qinyan expected, which is more of a concern than a blame. Remember to lock the door next time, you child. Xia Qinyan just nodded, although he may not lock it next time. Because in her opinion, Tiangong City, with its advanced technology and good public security, there is no need to worry about petty theft. Besides, there are still many good people in the world. Here, it can only be said that Xia Qinyan still underestimates people's hearts too much. Listen, next time you lock the door, you give the key to mom, and next time mom uses the key to open it. Lin Jixin sighed and said. At that time, the couple still said that there was no need to lock the door, so as not to accidentally knock on Xia Qinyan when he got off the bed and opened the door. Now, Xia Qinyan's body is starting to improve, and girls still need to have the good habit of locking doors. The kanji on the table has been slightly less hot after helping Xia Yan wash. Well, drink the kanji while it's hot. Mom will show you around later. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Hearing this, Xia Qinyan was extremely happy, and felt that kanji was sweet. Lin Jixin looked at her daughter with doting eyes. Her daughter finally has a healthy body. In the morning, it is highly likely that summer sky will not be visible. Since Xia Qinyan came to this world, except for the time three days ago when her father had half a day off in the morning and saw him in the morning, Xia Qinyan had not seen him again in the morning. I asked my mother, but Lin Jixin replied the most, your father is busy with work. 
Although Xia Qinyan was curious about what Xia Chongkong did, she didn't ask in the end. Looking at the situation at home, it seems quite affluent. Most of the furniture and facilities at home are still adorned with gold inlay. She also read the newspaper her father had read, and the experimental drug she was taking was only one dose that required six digits, and it was a one dose per day, one dot year course of treatment. Ordinary families could not afford such consumption. So, a father's job should be one of high status. While sitting on the sofa thinking about these things, Lin Jixin has already pushed the wheelchair over. After helping Xia Qinyan sit down, she was ready to change clothes. Xia Qinyan looked at the dress that highlighted her delicate figure on her body and couldn't help but exclaim. The original owner's figure was really good, never getting tired of it. Actually, she doesn't really care about what she wears, at least in her past life. But when Lin Jixin said something like, women should pay attention to their appearance outside, it's face-saving, Xia Qinyan had to accept it. But to be honest, it's a pity that the original owner's figure doesn't match such a good dress. Lin Jixin changed her clothes and came out of the room. When Xia Qinyan saw her, she stared intently until her mother approached. If it wasn't true, she almost thought it was the original owner's sister. A simple dress perfectly showcases the mother's beautiful figure. Undoubtedly the mother of the original owner, she is truly beautiful, even Xia Qinyan couldn't help but admire her from the bottom of her heart. Lin Jixin seemed to have noticed her daughter's scorching gaze. I couldn't help but laugh out loud. Let's go, mom will take you out. Speaking of Lin Jixin, she opened the door and the bright sunlight shone on it. The sunshine slowly crawled through every inch of the skin in summer. Bring her some warmth, this kind of weather that is neither hot nor cold, officially suitable for the temperature. Although she had guesses, she was still somewhat surprised when she saw it. My own residence, with a yard outside. Flowers and plants have been carefully taken care of and grow very well. There is still some snow in the courtyard, and I am not ready to keep up with the pace of winter. On the way, the girl chatted and laughed with her mother. Although the girl tried her best to look around, she still didn't notice anything. Pedestrians, small stalls, passing vehicles, various shops, and high-dot-rise buildings can be seen everywhere. But without any useful information, it feels like it's still in its original world, just a different city, no different. If it weren't for seeing Space Shock and Tiangong City in the newspaper, Xia Qinyan would find it hard to believe. The girl couldn't help feeling a bit disappointed. Lin Jixin heard her daughter's low mood from the chat and calmly pushed the wheelchair, asking. What's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? No, it's okay. Lin Ji felt relieved when she realized her daughter's health was fine, and then smiled. Hmm. You don't look like you're okay. I. What worries do you have? Tell your mother. Mom. The girl hesitated a bit, but the original owner's parents were her only reliance in this unfamiliar world. The sense of loss made the girl slowly speak up. Mom, if I'm not actually your daughter. Hmm. Not mom, I'm not talking about blood, I'm talking about. Xia Qinyan saw Lin Ji's heart speak out and thought she had misunderstood her meaning. She was about to explain, but the result, I know. Hey! Lin Jixin pushed a wheelchair and brought Xia Qinyan to the park. Take her around here. Actually, from the day you woke up, your father and I already knew that you were not our true daughter. Chapter 6 Changes You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The wind blew cool on her face, but Xia Qinyan turned around and saw Lin Ji's moist eyes. Why? Nevertheless, Xia Qinyan still asked this question with confusion. Although it's a bit strange to ask this question in this situation, because that day, the hospital's death report notification came down three days ago. At first, I didn't believe it. Even though such a living person was still in front of me, when I thought about Yan Yan's physical condition that day. Yan Yan really had already left. 
So you know, I thought. Xia Qinyan looked ahead and a strange feeling surged in her heart. I thought. I had parents now, parents now, then you can completely expose my memory loss trick and drive me away, there's no need to. Take care of me like this. The voice of Xia Qinyan lowered as she spoke. Although I don't know your name, and it's almost unbelievable that you occupy your body, that day you called us parents, making us feel the existence of Yan Yan again. Lin Jixin recalled these days spent with this fake daughter, and if there was no emotional connection, it was fake. So, no matter who you are, if you don't mind, it will always be our words. Lin Jixin still remembers the conversation she had with Xia Changkong in the living room that day. Then suddenly a sound rang out from my parents, and at that moment, they were incredibly happy. Dot. Xia Qingyan fell silent. Is she okay? Is it really possible? Is it really possible, is it really? Okay. Of course. Lin Jixin's voice was filled with tenderness, as if giving a homeless and fearful child enough sense of security. Thank you, mom. My name is Xia Qinyan. Oh, is it the same name as my daughter? That must be fate. Can I continue to call you, Yan Yan? Dot? The tears hanging from the corner of Xia Qinyan's eyes couldn't stop. Of course you can. She had never dared to expect so much before. These days, Xia Changkong and Lin Jixin are truly like their own parents, caring for themselves meticulously. Let a child who has never seen their parents complete that flawed heart. When Xia Qinyan confessed to Lin Jixin, she was already prepared to be abandoned, so even if the couple did not accept her, she had no complaints and enjoyed the love of her parents for a few days wearing their daughter's skin, which was already shameless. Lin Jixin pushed a wheelchair and walked with Xia Qinyan on a slow slope. The conversation between the two was coincidentally avoided. Xia Qinyan also felt relieved. Even though she was not clear about this unfamiliar world, it was still good to keep living as she was and take each step at a time. Even if it's a terrifying disaster space earthquake, the technology in Tiangong City already has a way to cope, so it's okay. Lin Jixin and Xia Qinyan finally arrived at the high platform of the park. The two stopped by the fence. Yen Yen, this is the highest point of the park where you can see the entire Tiangong city. Look, that's our home. Speaking, Lin Jixin reached out and pointed towards the distance. Xia Qinyan also looked in the direction she pointed, but didn't see anything. Pieces of identical buildings dazzled her. She didn't know how Lin Jixin could tell at a glance. When we first moved to Tiangong city, our family often came here to play. I see. How's it going? The scenery is nice, isn't it? Lin Jixin spoke softly. Xia Qinyan also turned his gaze to the full picture of Tiangong City. Well, it's very beautiful. Looking at it, Xia Qinyan frowned slightly. This landscape. Why does it feel a bit familiar? No, 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 if you have seen it, you should remember where it came from. It must be because I really want to know where this is, I'm feeling dizzy, right? It must be like this. Although the girl no longer had unrealistic thoughts like holding a script, her fear of death quietly prompted her to secretly speculate. Life, as planned and expected by the girl, continues to develop. In this short period of time, with the care of Xia Changkong and Lin Jixin, Xia Qingyan's body gradually recovered to health. She made a request to the two of them to go to school, and with the consent of her parents, she began to work hard to learn the lessons of this world. Finally, she managed to catch up on all the lessons she had missed in the past six months. Xia Changkong also asked her which high school she wanted to go to. The girl looked at the school her father had chosen for her, and at first glance, she saw a light called Money Shining on the Ordinary Paper. The tuition fees at school are so expensive. Xie Changkong once smiled and said to her. How about this Zen High School? It's the largest, best, and most expensive private high school in Tiangong City. 
Yen Yen, take a look. Dot. This school has been established for some years, and its space seismic defense facilities are also better than other schools. Of course, Longdan Temple Women's College is also a good choice. Dot. Tell dad which school you want to attend, and he will arrange for you to enroll in next year's enrollment quota. Dad, let me take a look first. Everything is getting better, but perhaps Xia Qinyan really committed some heinous crime, even in this world, the heavens don't want her to live well. That concert buried Xia Qinyan's expectations for the future. The first and final concert of the night waiting moon. Due to missing the original owner, Xia Qinyan decided to go to the concert with them. That day was the happiest day for the girl. But no one expected that such a disaster would happen during a good concert, and unexpected changes would quietly occur. The sound of space earthquake alarms echoes constantly in everyone's ears. Dad. Mom. No. No, no. The girl shouted hysterically, but couldn't stop them. People who run away, how can they have time to take care of others? This sudden disaster, being able to save one's life, is enough to celebrate with drums and gongs. The concert venue of the Tian Gong Exhibition Hall is crowded with people, and there are only a dozen or so life.saving exits. In order to save his life, he had to sacrifice others. I just don't know if they will spend the rest of their lives. What about confessing and saying, I'm sorry? He he he. I didn't know what kind of world this was until I saw you guys. He he he. I'm sure I'll kill you with my own hands. Let you pay for it with blood. Dot. The indifferent gaze looked at the young girl in the ruins who had only one breath left. Obviously, her current physical condition was not related to her outspoken words, and there was no threat at all. Kill her, then leave. I fulfilled your wish, and you should do me a little favor too. Hmm. Do you want to let her go? Anyway, it's your business. That clump of square blocks couldn't distinguish the voices of men and women, which was the last word the girl heard. Chapter 7 Dating Battle you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. My body is in great pain, and there is no sensation in my limbs, but even more painful than this is the heartache of losing parents. Surrounded by the smell of disinfectant and various electronic instruments, the girl's physical condition lying on the hospital bed is constantly being fed back. Xia Qinyan slowly opened his eyes, losing their original color and becoming empty and lifeless. My mind was blank, leaving only the last scene of my parents. Muna's eyes were just staring at the ceiling. That hopeless, lifeless eye socket, tears as big as beans streaked across the girl's face. The quiet ward silently recounts a sad past. Why? Why why does God treat such a pitiful girl like this? Pull her out of hell like a show, and after experiencing the warmth of heaven, ruthlessly push her into hell. Perhaps this was the pleasure that God found for himself when he was bored. After getting tired of watching this drama, he abandoned the girl. Sergeant Yuan E, the injured person's physical condition is not optimistic. She already has a root cause of illness. If it weren't for the report from AST, I would have found it hard to believe that she was actually a survivor of the space shock. This is the first time I have seen her since I became the dean. Is there no other way? Of course there are ways, but we need to go to the headquarters. Our technology here is still too poor, and hasty surgery will only harm her. I know now, I will truthfully tell the captain about the situation. Thank you for coming, Sergeant Yuan. I have something else to do, so I won't disturb you. Hmm, walk slowly. The conversation outside the door reached Xia Qinyan's ears, but the girl's expression remained numb. She was numb and had no emotional fluctuations, not even blinking her eyes, as if she were a machine without thoughts or expressions. Click the door of the ward was opened, bringing in a stronger smell of disinfectant. Perhaps due to the window, the disinfectant in the ward has a slightly lighter odor. Da 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 the person walked a few steps until they reached Xia Qingyan's bedside and saw her appearance. 
She looks about the same age as Xia Qinyan on the hospital bed. A head of white short hair, delicate facial features, clear blue eyes, coupled with her expressionless face, gave her a unique beauty. In the memories that the young girl possesses, she can vaguely find a blurry figure that contrasts with her. Hello. The visitor met those dull, fish-like eyes. While Xia Qinyan's thoughts drifted away, she also thought that these hopeless eyes were not suitable for such a beautiful girl. But at a certain period of time, Xia Qinyan and she were so similar to each other. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yuan Yorigami, and I am a sergeant of the Ground Self-Defense Forces Anti-Elf Organization, abbreviated as AST. Civilians may not know about this organization, but if you see its existence, it will erase your relevant memories in the future. Don't worry, there will be no danger. The words of origami, without any emotional fluctuations, are like presenting some irrelevant topics to the other party. But the girl doesn't know if she heard something or was stimulated by something. Xia Qinyan turned her head fiercely to look at the standing girl. She just stood there like that. The ghosting in Xia Qinyan's eyes gradually overlapped with her memories. Iris Origami she knows this name. After the disaster on that day. She knew the name of this unfamiliar world. Dating Battle. A world that looks beautiful but has cruel content. Xia Qingyan's current experience is indeed no different from that of the young girl in front of her, Yuan E. Origami. Your name is Xia Qingyan, right? Your body still has the possibility of recovery. Please cooperate with surgical treatment in the future. I. Xia Qingyan suppressed the piercing pain in her throat and let out a hoarse voice. Dot. Une. Origami. I want to join. A.S.T. Dot. Perhaps I didn't expect this kind of unfolding, the origami had an imperceptible curve on my eyebrows. Do you know, A.S.T. Dot. Xia Qinyan opened her mouth and wanted to answer her question, but she only felt a rusty smell in her throat and couldn't make a sound. Origami saw Xia Qinyan's uncomfortable expression and stopped asking her. She pulled a chair next to her and sat down, saying. Don't talk. Although it is stated, there is a hint of command in Xia Qinyan's statement. Xia Qinyan obediently stopped forcing herself. Seeing this, Origami became serious. Do you want to join the AST? Nod or shake your head. Xia Qinyan nodded obediently. Dot. Origami lowered her head and remained silent, as if considering the matter. Of course, she couldn't make the decision, but from her, she saw the shadow of her past self. It is still necessary to report this matter. I know now, I will report it, but your body is now completely broken, and there is no intact organ in your body. Please receive proper treatment first. After saying these words to Xia Qinyan, Origami left the ward. Dot. As Xia Qinyan watched the girl's departure, hatred surged in her heart. AST, an organization that opposes the elves who are the main culprits causing space tremors. Xia Qinyan will never forget the scene of Xia Changkong and Lin Jixin being engulfed by space shock, never. That sentence of blood debt and blood repayment is not just a quick word of mouth. Everything, she needs to settle it properly. In the inconspicuous corner, the quiet girl sat there like this. Except for being the protagonist who was noticed by the whole audience when she was given special attention, the rest acted as a backboard that nobody paid attention to. The girl has no friends, and no one in the class has ever communicated with her. Even a small wave would not be given to her. The girl couldn't understand why it was like this, even though everyone had just gathered in the same class, why others had become friends who talked about everything, yet she could only be looked down upon by others. Gradually, the girl no longer thought about these things, gritted her teeth and endured but she also has moments of being cared for. The front desk is a transfer student who came to the school when summer vacation was approaching. He was unaware of everything in the class and would talk to girls at that time. For example, hey, sick seedling, look, 
Do you think these girls look good? I think they look pretty. Why do they just say they're not pretty? Well, they are all very beautiful. Personally, I really like this person with abnormal pupils. What kind of abnormal pupils? Don't talk nonsense if you don't understand. Her name is Kuang San, and that's the clock in her left eye. Clock. What kind of code is this? I understand and understand. Dating battles, harem scenes, would a girl like this? Unfortunately, everything ended before the girl could understand. Chapter 8 Step 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The sunlight outside the window shone in and hit the girl. Her eyes closed slightly, her eyelashes curled up, and her fair skin exuded an alluring luster. Even her face seemed to have been plated with a layer of pale gold, and even her lips turned rose pink. The heat in the air gradually fades over time, and the cold breath takes its place. Winter is approaching, and the cold will once again spread to this city. Time flies so fast, so fast that people can't react Xia Qinyan looked at the book in his hand and was stunned. The book was not opened, but was just held in the girl's hand. Sometimes being gently caressed by a girl like a treasure. At times, this poor book was tightly pressed with a few shallow fingerprints by the delicate and delicate hands of the girl. No one knows the girl's thoughts at this moment, perhaps not even herself. In these days, the disaster of that day always comes to mind in my dreams. Xia Changkong and Lin Jixin were engulfed by space shocks, even in the last moment of their lives, they still cared about themselves and wanted to run away quickly. Dot. This is the DM society, which is where Xia Qinyan is currently located. Even though she had not learned about this special place in her past life, she still learned a rough idea from the origami of this world. The behind the scenes boss of the Tiangong City AST organization is a powerful company. Xia Qinyan received all the treatment in this place. The final result was that the girl's injury healed but Xia Qinyan always felt that something was wrong. But in the end, they were all classified by the girl as postoperative discomfort. I've been taking care of my body here for about five months now. It's already the end of 2029. Xia Qinyan caressed the cover of the book, hesitating for a moment before deciding to open it. This ordinary book, however, has been accompanied by a young girl for the past few months. The cover does not have a name, or rather, the book itself does not have a name. Except for Xia Qinyan, the owner of this book, no one knows what kind of book it is. The footsteps outside the door are getting closer and closer. A cheerful hum can be faintly heard from afar. Xia Qinyan slowly closed the book and tightened it with gentle force, like a baby at this time, that person will appear in front of her on time, and today is no exception. Sister Yen, I'm coming to see you. Liren is a girl with a somewhat immature appearance, probably only 13 or 14 years old, two or three years younger than Xia Qinyan. Her cute face, recognizable ponytails, and white princess dress, as well as the small flowers on her chest, all indicate her immaturity in age, yet she also appears particularly beautiful. Aha! Uh -huh. Perhaps Xia Qinyan didn't want such a lively girl to be influenced by his emotions, so when facing her, Xia Qinyan forced himself to smile the girl's name is Yunqi. Speaking of which, this girl was also a patient like herself in the beginning. It is said that her wealthy and powerful parents obtained medical opportunities from the DM society, so Xia Qinyan and she had the opportunity to become patients. Later on, Yunqi recovered but still came to visit Xia Qinyan. However, Xia Qinyan has never seen the girl's parents before, that's right. Little girl, come and see me again. Sister Yen, but I promise to see you discharged with my own eyes. Girls can't break their promise. Yinxi pouted and looked unhappy, but she was also very obedient and did not continue to dwell on this issue. Then you'll have to wait for a while. Xia Qinyan jokingly said, but she didn't want the little girl to have to wait for her. What kind of illness is Sister Yen? Why is it longer than my hospital stay? Is this? 
Xia Qingyan's brain is running rapidly, she wants to come up with a speech. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to say to Yunxi, I was affected by the space shock wave. Moreover, it seems to be an absolute secret that is not publicly disclosed. My body is a congenital disease, which is more difficult to treat compared to diseases like yours that are acquired later. Xia Qingyan relied on her previous life's knowledge reserves to deceive Yunxi, and the more she spoke, the more it seemed like the same thing. Oh, oh, oh. Yinshi kept nodding, she really couldn't understand and was a bit confused. Oh, forget it, Sister Yen, look what I've brought you. Time has changed many things. No matter what, it cannot escape the change of time. The beauty of that time has now changed beyond recognition. Time has changed too much, leading to too many people taking different paths and even carrying heavy responsibilities. Xia Qingyan is one of them. Returning to this home that no longer has the taste of home. The flowers and plants in the courtyard are no longer carefully cared for, and in the snow, only withered rhizomes are left to show the traces of their past to later generations. Snow, it's a bit heavy. Xia Qingyan stood in the snow. Looking at the locked door, it didn't open for a long time. She saw the delivery box next to her. Open. It is a repaired phone. Xia Qingyan was slightly taken aback. She had thought that the box contained various things, but she didn't expect it to be this one. It also survived the space epicenter. Although I don't know the password for unlocking. But at this moment, this phone is such a precious thing for Xia Qingyan. It witnessed the time when the girl came to this world. That beautiful time. Xia Qingyan held her phone and felt a momentary daze. But immediately, he put his phone in his pocket and entered the room. Everything was the same as when I left that day, except for a layer of dust covering the surface. Dad, Mom, I'm back. Xia Qingyan couldn't help but shout out the suppressed emotions in her heart. In the quiet room, the echoes of the girl echoed. She also expects this, and her expectations will be met with a response. But still, there was silence. She let out a sigh. The first time I returned home with a healthy and disease-free body, I didn't see the person who had accompanied me back then. The girl sat down on the sofa she used to like, only to notice a letter pressed under the vase on the coffee table. She took it out, opened it, and wrote neat words on a simple piece of writing paper. To Xia Qingyan. Hello, I am Yuan E. Origami. I have already reported your request to the team leader. A few days ago, the team leader's response was received. Congratulations, you can join asterisk asterisk asterisk. I will come to you early next year to discuss the specific situation in detail. Iris Origami, starred letter Xia Qingyan looked at the content of the letter with some joy, which meant that her first step of revenge was successful. Xia Qingyan packed the letter and went to the kitchen. Burn it completely. At the beginning of next year, it's almost, almost. I'll be waiting for a few days. Chapter 9 Team Assessment You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the blink of an eye, the agreed time has arrived. The new year is ushered in by the lights of every household. Xia Qingyan sat in the study, quietly reading books. These days, she has been staying at home alone. Losing something important, the girl's face lost its former vitality. The huge house is filled with a oppressive atmosphere. Ding Dong Xia Qingyan waited for a whole day and finally waited for the doorbell to ring around 7 p.m. in the evening. She closed the book, brought her phone on the desk, and then prepared to go downstairs. Through the cat's eye, Xia Qingyan saw the appearance of the newcomer and opened the door. Welcome. Xia Qingyan spoke in a plain tone, neither heavy nor light. Thank you. Origami stood at Xia Qingyan's doorstep, wearing a white dress, a gray plush coat, and a white top hat on her head, looking very beautiful. The flawless face blushed slightly, appearing particularly prominent against the backdrop of this cold weather. 
most likely due to just taking a shower, the end of the short hair is still slightly moist. Xia Qinyan entered the living room with origami. Because she has only spent these days in the study, the air in the living room is only slightly warmer than outside. I apologize for coming in without saying hello before. Origami followed her and lowered her head slightly. Xia Qinyan knew what she was saying about putting that letter in. Although he didn't know how the origami came in, Xia Qinyan had no intention of pursuing it. It's okay, it's actually about the phone. I want to thank you. Dot. The origami tilted its head and didn't understand how it turned out to be apologizing to the other person, but suddenly it turned out to be saying thank you. She wanted to say something when she heard Xia Qinyan speak. Sit down first. The origami had to sit down on the sofa first. And Xia Qinyan sat opposite her and asked her. Do you want to turn on the heating? No need, I'll leave after I finish speaking. Origami shook its head, ready to directly get to the topic. The captain has agreed to your joining the AST, so you should have seen it, right? Hmm. Xia Qinyan nodded and responded. In this chat mode, she didn't intend to interrupt because Origami had introduced herself before. She was a sergeant in the AST and held a high position. Xia Qinyan just needed to listen to what she said. I know your purpose in joining the caste, or rather, everyone who joins the caste is more or less seeking revenge. I'm not surprised that you have such thoughts, but... Origami took out a document from her plush jacket and pushed it to Xia Qinyan, looking at her solemnly. However, I still want to remind you that the AST organization is not a place for people to have fun on a whim. When you officially become a member of the AST, there is still a risk of losing your life. Even so, do you still want to join? Xia Qinyan looked at the document, and the AST team application looked particularly dazzling. Even if it's death, what can it be? What if someone who has already died once dies again? Important, cherished, and rare. There's nothing left, I want to join. Xia Qinyan said without hesitation, so firm. Okay. Origami couldn't help but curl its lips as it looked at Xia Qinyan's unwavering expression. As expected, it was exactly the same as before. Sign here, I'll take you there in a few days. The four-month new employee training happens to be during winter vacation, so it shouldn't take up too much of your school time. Dot. Xia Qingyan's hand paused as she signed, and the origami reminded her that she had wanted to go to school before, but that was in the absence of such unexpected circumstances. Now. It's just a matter of fulfilling the unfulfilled wishes of Xia Chongkong and Lin Jixin. Senior Yuan, can you ask which school you are studying at? Xia Qingyan asked so. She looked at the origami and thought it was about the same age as herself, so she must have been in high school, that's why she asked this question. The origami also answered her truthfully. Come to Zen High School, what's wrong? It's nothing. Xia Qingyan nodded slightly and continued to sign. Sending away the origami, Xia Qingyan also returned to the study. Sitting on the chair that I usually sit in during summer, I continued to flip through the unnamed book. The dazzling lights shone on the written pages, truly filled with memories. That day, Origami found Xia Qingyan's home again. That day, Xia Qingyan and Origami set off together. That day, Xia Qingyan first saw high dot tech in novels and comics. That day, she saw many girls like herself who had lost both parents. That day, Xia Qingyan's life was completely changed. Stand up. Newcomer. Isn't that enough? The sound in her ear sounded as if urging her to die, but the girl gritted her teeth and persisted. Her forehead had already oozed beads of sweat, and her eyes were bloodshot, making people afraid that bleeding would overflow in the next second. Come on, Sister Yen. Go on, hold on. Xia Qing Yen, if you can't do it, don't come back to see me, bad luck. Sister Yen, come on. After four months of training, 
it is also time for this batch of future AST formation assessments to officially enter the AST organization as magicians. Of course, there were also many who were eliminated during the training process, but this assessment is the most crucial. Xia Qinyan is very clear about her shortcomings and doesn't know the reason. Her spiritual power, also known as magic, is very weak. This is very deadly for a magician. When Origami discovered this issue, she also advised her. But Xia Qinyan refused with a bitter smile. But besides helping them seek revenge, what else am I left with? This girl persevered through the final assessment. Many people are very optimistic about her, and some officials are no exception. Ha! 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 Xia Qinyan breathed heavily in the air, but couldn't alleviate the piercing pain deep in his throat. The mouth is filled with the smell of rust. Xia Qingyan's trembling hand wiped away the blood from the corners of her mouth. Although a wooden knife was used for assessment, it can still exert great power in the magician's casual field, so the girl's arm still has many scars. Xia Qingyan looked at the time and froze it at 20.6 seconds. The girl struggled to stand up with a wooden knife, even the entry dot level model of the manifestation device. Standard versus Elf Armor was difficult for her to resist such consumption. I'm fine, keep going. Xia Qinyan stood firm and shouted loudly. This assessment not only assesses the operation of display devices and the use of arbitrary fields, but also includes one more item. It is the spirit of dealing with combat. It can be seen that the assessed officer is very satisfied with Xia Qinyan. Well done, newcomer. However, what should be tested still needs to be tested. Get ready, I'm here. At the moment when the words fell, she drove the manifestation device to arm the elves, flying proficiently and quickly toward Xia Qinyan. Chapter 10 Girls' Worries You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Under the bonus of that officer's casual field, the power of the wooden knife is even greater than that of the cold weapon that opens the charge. Xia Qinyan quickly dodged, and the officer across from her was already experienced in countless battles. Perhaps no one else could feel her feelings at this moment except for herself. Her tactics. Every time Xia Qinyan swings his sword, he gradually gets cornered. This is not a hierarchical battle at all, but a one-dot-sided crushing, and Xia Qinyan has no strength to fight back. Dot. Xia Qingyan's body spun and avoided the continuous attacks of the wooden knife. The air temperature suddenly rose as the wooden knife sliced through, making her dare not be careless. But just as Xia Qingyan looked up, the official had already appeared above his head. The spraying device of the display device emitted a blazing white flame, with faint signs of overload. Xia Qingyan understood the power of this knife, and the girl quickly drove the display device to help jump backwards without taking a breath. Boom! With a loud bang, the officer's wooden knife struck the ground under Xia Qingyan's feet, and the entire piece of land sank. The ground presents a spider web like pattern, with gravel flying horizontally. Upon seeing this scene, Xia Qingyan felt a lingering fear and breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, she managed to avoid it. But Jiang was still old and spicy. The officer, holding the wooden knife in his right hand, opened it, twisted it, and then changed his position to tightly grip the wooden knife again. With the wooden knife supporting the ground, he used a display device to fly backwards in the air and came to Xia Qinyan. And Xia Qinyan, there's no chance to escape now. She has no practical experience at all, and in the face of opponents at this level, the girl can only accept her fate. Xia Qingyan's wooden knife lay horizontally in front of him, unfolding in a casual manner in front of him. She must block this blow. Just as the officer was about to collide with Xia Qingyan, a sudden bell rang throughout the entire venue. Time's up. As another officer in charge of supervision and assessment, he raised his right hand high and shouted out this sentence, then quickly used his free range to help Xia Qingyan block the blow. 
student Xia Qinyan, passed the assessment. Upon hearing these words, Xia Qinyan finally relaxed and fell to the ground. She was very worried about how to avenge her parents if they were not approved, and now. She can finally rest assured. The officer in charge of assessment walked up to Xia Qinyan, smiled at her, and then extended his hand. Xia Qinyan did not refuse, grabbed her hand, and stood up again with her strength. Hmm. Is this hand? Unexpectedly easy to touch. Newcomer, good job. Origami told me about your situation, and I thought you would give up. I really didn't expect it. Well, thank you. Xia Qinyan realized that she was still holding her hand, quickly released it, and then thanked her. You're welcome, your name is Xia Qinyan, right? I'm Rixiel Yaozi, the captain of the first team, of the AST team. Maybe we'll meet again in the future. As he spoke, Liao Zi turned around and walked towards the supervisor of the assessment, waving his hand at Xia Qinyan. I'm going to prepare for the next assessment. See you next time. Xia Qinyan just stared blankly as she left. She just said she was the captain of a team. No one has ever said that the person in charge of assessment is so strong, right? Without much time to think, the friends she has made here these days have already arrived by her side. Sister Yen, are you okay? Let me take a look. The girl who was half a head shorter than Xia Qinyan walked up to her and asked with concern. The girl's name is Haizina, and she is Xia Qinyan's best friend. However, in the eyes of others, it seems that the relationship is too good. The pink silly hair swayed before Xia Qinyan's eyes. Hello. Lily Ling, won't you say something? Kurosawa asked when she saw the girl beside her silent. Dot. Lily Ling pondered for a moment and said coldly. Well done, how is your health? Xia Qinyan has become accustomed to not dealing with these two people, but at this moment they are both concerned about themselves and need to say something. I didn't. The girl was about to speak when she suddenly felt speechless and the dull pain in her chest gradually widened. Puff bright red is a liquid that is spewed out without reservation from the girl's mouth. The scene before me is becoming increasingly blurred. In the end, he still couldn't hold on and collapsed backwards. Lily Ling immediately discovered and held on to Xia Qinyan. Xia Qinyan, hello. What's wrong with you? Hello. Wake up. The tone was a bit excited, indicating that the person was very anxious. Sister Yen. The girl doesn't know the rest of the story. Ah. Uh. Opening his eyes, he saw the familiar place that Xia Qinyan was familiar with. During the four months of training, she came here more than once. Medical room. And the girl was lying in the hospital bed at this moment. The smell of disinfectant around made the girl frown. In those dark days, she didn't know when she started to dislike the smell of disinfectant. At this moment, Xia Qinyan felt that his body should not be in any major trouble, so he got out of bed and went to the window. Open the window and breathe the outside air. Patients cannot get out of bed casually. Without emotional fluctuations, Xia Qinyan knows who it is without even thinking. Senior Yuan, I'm not sick. Injury. Origami puts fruits on the bedside table. Eyes met Xia Qinyan's gaze. Also, you said there's no need to call me that, it feels strange. Okay, Senior Yuan. The origami was speechless for a while, but I didn't intend to argue with her. I took a chair and sat down, watching Xia Qinyan enjoying herself by the window. Origami spoke up. Congratulations on passing the assessment. Thank you. Origami takes out an apple and starts peeling it. You are welcome. Dot. The atmosphere fell into silence for a moment, except for the sound of peeling, which continued leisurely. Xia Qinyan turned around and looked at the origami, asking the question. Can I still go to the front line? Senior Yuan E. The origami didn't answer the question, but instead handed her the apple that had been peeled off. 
Apple, do you want to eat it? Xia Qinyan was slightly taken aback and then stepped forward to take the apple. Thank you. Origami hummed and opened the door of the ward, ready to leave. Before leaving, she still answered Xia Qinyan's question. On the front line, you can go up. After speaking, he left. Xia Qinyan was still gnawing on the apple, and when he heard the origami's answer, his hanging heart relaxed a lot. After all, the magic is too weak, even the training version of the standard against elf weapons has made the body look like this. Will AST send such a weak person to the front line speaking of which, winter vacation has already passed unnoticed. April 2030 Xia Qinyan is holding a document. Found the destination. Due to the start of school, she saw many students wearing school uniforms along the way. The closer to the destination, the more people there are. The school gate is even more crowded with people. Xia Qinyan stood by a small tree on the street outside the school gate. Quietly looking at the big school name. Lai Chan High School.